beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. My guest is laughing. I have a very, very special guest on my couch today. She's one of my favorite Nigerian designer in, in, in fact, she's one of my favorite designer in the world. Yes, because at the end of the day, we have to respect our own. She's that good, you know. She's intellectual. She's creative. She's amazing. She's good at what she's a perfectionist, by the way. Whatever she puts, she wants it. Oh, Lila, no, 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 it's showing. No, 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 the video, take it from this angle. She's amazing. You will love her. Her name is Tolu Bali, CEO. 2207 by T Bali. Hey! <laughs> T Bali! Come thank on, you for Lillian. coming on my thank show. Thank you. I Thanks really for having me. It. I really, well, it's my pleasure to be here today, Lillian. So, Tolu, um, I mean, I know I know you personally, so I know a bit of how you started in terms of I know your mom was a fashion designer, you loved it, but you know, your journey, I don't know, some people don't know that. How did you start? How did you get into, you know, fashion designing? Okay, I'm actually a psychologist by profession. Oh my god. Yes. So that's I'm good with managing people like you, Lillian. <laughs> because Lillian, guys, the best you can ever know, but she's a handful. <laughs> anyway, back to what we're talking about. So um, I started after my NYC. I needed, I was, okay, no, sorry, after I gave birth, to, gave birth to my child, Oba, he's seven years old. So I was thinking I needed something much more demanding to do rather than doing a nine to five, working as a psychologist or working in a bank. Mm -hmm. so, then before then i've always been into fashion i've worked in several places in the united kingdom working as a, a supervisor sale manager in different departmental stores mm -hmm. so i knew that fashion is actually part of me it's what i really want to do so when i came back from london i spoke to my sister-in-law which is a fashion designer my late friend which you know as well for mm -hmm. me so we spoke about it actually the only thing you've been doing all your life is fashion so when you go back to nigeria why not uh, kick it up and start fashion again mm -hmm. and uh, mind you then um, I'm very good in putting things together, like I can dress people, I can style, but I really don't know how to sew, then, then I didn't know how to sew. But I just knew that it's not just about you knowing how to do it, which is very, very prime actually. You need to learn wherever you're doing, you need to make sure you're very good at it. But I knew that the expertise behind the sewing is just more than you pressing the machine. You need to be very creative. Mm -hmm. So I spoke to my mom who is a fashion designer. My dad too was a fashion designer. So my mom was like, oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, come, I'll teach you. So yeah, so I came back to Nigeria, I got just one machine, got a store, and uh, I made a jump, I got a tailor, and we made a jumpsuit, I designed a jumpsuit, and I posted the jumpsuit on social media, and after like 12 hours, we were literally sold out. Wow. So I'm like, wow. So it wasn't about the money initially, because I wasn't even worried about money. People that knows me know I love money, but then it doesn't really define me. Yeah. So. We sold out, some, so I was really glad that people really liked what I liked, like it was accepted. And mm -hmm. I made another dress as well, I got sold out too. Then I went back to the guy that I bought the fabric from, and he was like, oh, madam, since you came last week, people don't, they bring this for pictures, so they won't make it. <laughs> so literally, I couldn't make any more of the jumpsuit because some people are going yeah. to the market and bought the old fabric from the guy. So that was how 2207 started, mm -hmm. but 2207 is like the genesis of where I'm going to anyways. And I needed to start fashion to be able to go get to where I'm going to. Okay, so are you for or against designers who like maybe recreate stuff and, you know, get inspired by other fashion designers? And what do you think about it? <sighs> That's a very good question, Lilia. At the beginning of my career, I remember times like, Lilia and they've copied out Lilia yeah, and this one, yeah, Lilia and this, Lilia and what? I'm all, it was getting too crazy. Like my focus was diverting from my creativity to people that were copying me. And then I had a relationship. The only thing we talk about is they're copying me. I'm sure that's why the guy dumped me. Like, <laughs> 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 no, but you know, I always tell you, I always tell you to look. You know, the last time we had a conversation, I told you, I said, Tolu, you should be happy that you are being copied. Yeah, I know you keep saying that. I said, but well, I don't understand. The only problem I had yeah. was the fact that when people copy, just give it inspired by it. Because even yeah. you, don't forget that when you've, re we, you've recreated something and you put inspired mm -hmm. by it, yeah. there's nothing wrong in it. So, yeah. so there's absolutely nothing wrong in you. I wouldn't say copy, and I would use the word inspire. If someone is something is to inspire, it could be, it could be this, the hat work, the couch, the color, the feathers. Like what you're wearing, I've already thought of seven designs I can recreate with the shirt and feathers. Mm -hmm. So it's an inspiration that I just got from what you're wearing. Mm -hmm. I'll try copy is what I really don't, do not like, but then I think you shouldn't copy like 100%, but when it comes to like inspiration, everybody like gets inspired by mm -hmm. someone's design. So calling 
people outrightly write, I used to do that before anyway, that, oh, no, don't do this, don't copy my design. You shouldn't copy 100% because mm -hmm. you need your creativity, creativity to sink in as well. But what I'm doing now, Leah, let me tell you the secret. If you copy me 100% and you take a very good picture, I'm going to take that picture post on my page. Yes! Energy 2022. And I've started move. doing it. Yes. Yeah. Uh -uh. If you... I'm not saying you don't copy me. You can copy and make and tweak. We all, I mean, we all get like ideas from different things. But if you copy me 100%, thank you for giving me a fantastic picture. I'm so going to put you your just, picture. Are you hearing my friend? Please, when you copy my friend <laughs> or you are inspired by her, just please, can you take a nice picture? You know, get, you know, totally very particular about location. Location, nice location. yeah. Your photographer has to be good. Please, and just slay. Give us nice <laughs> angles. And please, snatch your waist. Thank snatch you. your waist. And I will, <laughs> I will definitely be posting your picture. <laughs> so that's what, I will, that's what I do now. But then in terms of, like, so there's nothing like I'll try copy. Just you get inspiration, get inspired. Oh, I love the way this person has put a big bow on the dress or hair or there. You can decide to put your bow at the back. That's inspiration. Even the person you copy do not be like, ah. I mean, Momo, if I just put this bow at the back, we find past this mm -hmm, one where I put mm -hmm. for front. Is there any international person you would really love to put your piece on? Your piece is on. Who? Sarah. I love that girl. Oh, oh. God. Say it out. Yeah, I hear. Never can. See, see. Sierra, like I love you, I know you so love Sierra. much. I'm, do you know, I'm just like, I'm like a pest. I'm always on her page. If, you know, the other day I was checking my, my messages to Sierra. Sorry. Yeah. I do yes, that. Babes. And I have a lot of reposts. Tagging Sierra, 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 oh, Sierra, 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 Sierra. Sierra. Like I love, I love her so much. I love Girl her story. I love the fact that I actually got my strength uh, through her when she was pregnant. Cause we got pre pregnant at the same time, and we kind of have the same similar story. She was, I was going to be a single mom, and she was going to be a single mom too. And I love the fact that she has a good man now to herself. So, which is so inspiring as well. So I, I would really, really love to dress Sierra. The other person I would really, 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 really love to dress is Kim, Kim Kardashian. I love mm -hmm. Kim so much as well. Bali, when it comes, I don't forget me. That's no, my own. No, I won't. I'll, I'll, take, I'll just take you out. I'll take you out for dinner. I'll buy you sushi. Ah, I'm not that <laughs> cheap, girl. I'm no, not. I know you're not. <laughs> yes, I love Kim. But in terms of Nigerians, I think uh, I've done quite well. There are still some people that I would love them to wear my pieces, like uh, Rita Dominic. We spoke about it. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you Rita should. Will, so. Oh, she's so amazing. Yeah, she's she so would, amazing. She, she hasn't worn my piece before. Yeah. So, yeah. Tibalio. <laughs> <laughs> Tibali wants, is just giving us vibe, classy, <laughs> premium. I love it, baby. Tolu, how do you? See, and this one is personal to me, and I know I'm asking. Mm -hmm. How do you combine as a single mom? How do you do it? Tolu, I know that it's not easy. It's not. Tolu, how do you do it? Tolu, you look good. <sighs> Thank you. You, you, you work, everything is good. How do you do it? Let's know a bit of the struggle. Tolu, you know It's easy. a lot of struggle, I'm not going to lie. Let me take you back a little bit to when I had this child. Like, you know, you, you're not given a manual on how to run or how to take care of a child. So with me, my mom who happened to be like a glamma, I don't, we don't call her grandma. She doesn't even know how to take care of a child. Like she gave it to, obviously she's got, she's got her own kids, but my dad was very, very rich. So she had everything at her disposal. So she didn't have to birth yeah. a child or anything. So I remember when I had my child, I said, my mom, mom, are you coming to London? You should come. I'm like, yes, I'm on my way. I'm going to come now. My mom got to London and the first day we gave my mom to her. My mommy, take care of a child. <laughs> the following morning, my mom, so in the middle of the night, I was thinking that would be my first night of a proper sleep, because you, you literally don't sleep once you have a child. That's it, that's the end of it. You don't sleep. There was no man. I need, I actually suffered from uh, postnatal depression. Oh, that I was shit. very, very depressed. Very, very depressed. Because I wasn't, I didn't plan this life. I didn't plan I was going to be a single mom. I accepted my fate. Then I didn't know it was going to, I didn't know there were so many things I didn't know about having a child, like yeah. the sleepless nights, uh, trying to make the child sleep, food, medication. Oh. The baby girl lifestyle just went through and I just turned to a mom like I'm okay the only thing that was left was just my skinny body and maybe my skin to make me feel but every other thing was like I oh my god it was it was a nightmare so my mom came and my mom was my mom I thought she was going to be so I mean very hands-on so in, in the middle of the night when my son started crying I was like ah oh, this boy is crying where's my mom I just like, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like this one. <laughs> no like, oh, like, puppy, puppy. <laughs> Papa is crying. I was like, oh, don't, I, have <laughs> don't, don't die, yeah. I can't do this. I said, Mommy, but that's why you came. Ah, Mac Mami, oh. <laughs> 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 Mac Mami. So that, I mean, 
the journey st that was when I knew that girl. Yeah, yeah, you need yeah. Your, yeah. But now, okay, I think now I'm I'm, I'm so used to it. But before it was a little, little, little. It was a lot of work. I have been having to wake up in the morning, get dressed. I've never been an early morning person. Like I always wake up like twelve. Mm -hmm. But since I had my child, I wake up at six o'clock, get him dressed, take him to school, come back wow. home, get dressed as well, go to work, face my tailors, face clients do this go back to pick my child again have another meeting go face back to real work. life issues and in terms of tolu you know what i mean like personal issues face personal relationships issues too, this, yes tolu, tolu, wait, wait, let me ask you this question tolu man no de lagos man no de on recycling 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 I, I went into a restaurant a restaurant i saw my ex <laughs> it's another of my colleague I just tired. I can't see now. Hey, what is it God? <laughs> no. You know what's what happening? You know this what? Because it's crazy. <laughs> Lily, the moment you realize that most guys in Nigeria, let me no, don't don't let me say most guys. Most relationship in Nigeria is recycling. That's yes, no, I'm, I agree. Because 100%. if you're dating a guy and you're like, oh, I finally found that person. Two weeks into the relationship, we find that oh. Sorry, babe, I forgot to tell you. I realize you know Lillian. No fucking shit. Sorry that I'm spraying. You know I know Lillian because you see Lillian on my comment section. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you tell me before? Why are you telling me now? After we've been in the relationship that you know Lillian. So you want me to break up this happiness? I'm <laughs> <laughs> my sister. My sister, just tired. Do you want me to break up this joy I'm deriving or what? No, just need to go to Tolu, I'm sorry, yo. I know that you are Yoruba, but Tolu, me, your Yoruba brothers avoid me. This 2022. They can't. Tolu, you are a fine Tolu, girl now. And you know what, Lillian? Tolu, not knife, oh. Lillian. I am Ghanaian. Lillian, though. Lillian, it's not Yoruba men's fault. You have what they want. Please, Yoruba men are there after this. I don't get that. You, you See, got it. That. I don't have The it. only way you can avoid Yoruba men is start wearing captain. I will make your loss of captain. Because as long as you've got big bomb, Yoruba men will come for you. So even wear bikini, I don't want to. I'm coming. I'm scared. I'm covering my glory because I'm like these people. They, and I don't know why no. they always come. I don't know why they always come for me. They like because they like your kind of person. Yoruba, they like your stature. Your body won't leave me. Your body won't please come for Lily. You're about men. Tolu was all this kind. You're about. There's so they many. Come for your sister. You both don't come for your sister. <laughs> You'll be coming for. All they come for me and they show me and I show them. But 2020, I'm ah, showing 2022, them. I'm showing them ah, pepe. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 so must serve breakfast. Oh, must serve breakfast. No, you need to serve minutes. them breakfast. See, ah, what? Oh, my jagba. Oh, my jagba. <laughs> ah, oh, my jagba, jagba. This one You can't. And because, no, but only this conversation is very serious because mm -hmm. I know we're, we're, I mean, we're two single, we're single until married, I mean, mm -hmm. to an extent. Well, I'm um, even single, so it's not like a dating. Oh, we're single. We're, we're single. single. Mm -hmm. So I've realized that. And for me, right, maybe because I've gotten closer to God, right, I now understand the essence of having someone that is God-fearing. You know when we were growing up and our parents <laughs> tell us to oh, go for a God-fearing man. Please, I need, can, can, I, can I borrow this, please? I need to find myself. My dear, find if you talk Why about... Why is it on my couch? It's hot. No, no, it's not. But I'm just trying to do it because of what you just said. Mm -hmm. When it comes to you finding a man that is God-fearing, Lillian, my baby father, I don't talk about him, and I'm not sure it's the right time to do that, but he was, I mean, I met him. He was like a, like a pastor's boy. He was a mm -hmm. peer to a pastor. This is the first time I'm talking about this. He was a peer to a pastor. Like he was so into God. And I believe it's, I don't know anything about him now anyway. So when you talk about finding a God, it's not about finding a God-fearing man. It's about finding who makes you happy. Because there's so many definitions to, there's so many boxes you, they need to take. Okay, yes, it's God-fearing. Fair enough. So did you know why I said that? Mm -hmm. When I mean God-fearing, not those ones that pretend to be God-fearing. Tolu, if you fear God, there are some things you will not do. So how would you know that they are God-fearing? <sighs> See, man, I just... You're not a magician. No, you God. can only know based on how they're dealing with you, and that's not enough. You can think someone is God-fearing and the person is actually worse than Lucifer. I've seen them before. Yeah. So, so I, I never put Tolu, that god I, I dated a guy that broke up with me the day my father died. See, that one off me. No, that one probably thought you needed time to, to mourn. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, no. That one, eh? <laughs> See, I was so guess what? I'd never. I don't think I've told anybody. So they just told me my dad had died. So I just flew to Benin to, you know, because I just spoke to my dad. So you can't just tell me my dad just died. I literally just spoke to him. So I just flew to Benin. Oh, so don't I cry, just, Lily. So now I can't. I can't. You know, I have to be strong for my mm. for everyone. My mom, I'm the, I'm the only one in Nigeria at the time. So I went to the mortuary where they, because I wanted to be sure. I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. I so I, when I got there, I saw my dad lying naked with like a lot of other, you know, 
like you know like sorry I can, can we get that yet, please my my host is crying. no 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 but can I you show see yourself? that it dawned on me that my dad is dead I've never gone to a mortuary before I've never seen dead people lying naked so I was freaking out I, I was shaking meanwhile I'm trying to call this this you know guy whatever and I couldn't pick wasn't picking it and I had no my dad and dad traveled so I'd not called to see, like finally at about two three a.m. I still tried to say ah, let me just call and everything and now ah, and now picks and he's talking small small ah, ah. I'm talking small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just having a headache. Uh, ah, I see headache. Headache that you couldn't return somebody's call that. You know, anyway, long story short, you know, one thing that Sha broke up with me. And I'm like, ah, ah. I was, I broke, I was, so at the point, right, I was mourning, but I was like, what affected me was I've never seen, and this guy had just come back weeks ago buying flowers. In fact, if I wake up the same, they deliver flowers. The flower I, think is, I, I think I remember that. You're not the best thing, so it's fine. You, you, because we, I mean, aside the fact that we, we are close, about it we talk about all mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. And that's the good thing about people. The few people I'm close to in, in Lagos, and I always say, the people I'm really close to, that I really love, and I really share things with, I don't get to look we don't see every time we don't yeah our lives are busy but when we see we see mm -hmm. no, we, we don't talk, we talk we don't shit, yeah. because ask me why i'm i don't want to lose the friendship mm -hmm. i'm guarding the friendship mm -hmm. so i know that there are boundaries yeah i don't want to get too familiar mm -hmm. so when i fe feel like ah, okay may i leave to do first I'll, I'll talk to her in five months <laughs> but guess what when i come back to talk to you in five months we start from there's no life, yeah negative vibe of, ah why did Tolu not call me three months mm -hmm. ago why did it's all love that's yes, because yes. of the kind of energy we've built yes, over yes. the years mm -hmm. right so for me what i'm trying to say is if someone fears god and like when i mean fear god you fear god for the way he sees like ah say ah god i can't do this he'll be, not be happy mm -hmm. with me it's not the right Tolu, there are some people i don't like eh? mm -hmm. but there's some i cannot there's some i can't hurt them mm -hmm. the fact that i'm not talking to you doesn't mean i should try to hurt you or take food from your table not because of you, because I fear God. Don't limit yourself. Don't love, the next person can be the right person. Love, not the no, Lagos. They love in Lagos. There's love in Lagos, but <laughs> it's just recycling. Everyone in Lagos is, has been taken by someone, someone that you know. Someone go find me one day. Oh, <laughs> 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 but anyways, guys, I'm Tolu. So I called Tolu, and I asked this girl, Tolu, what would you like to eat on my couch? <laughs> and this girl... You see what she likes to eat. Let's take a short break. I'll be right back. <music> Guys, so this is what Tolu Bali ordered. She wanted small chops sushi. and sushi. Actually, sushi more. And I said small chops as well. Tolu, so this is what you came on my couch to eat. If one call. Huh. Mm. Oh, let me start with pop puff. Mm. Tolu, don't finish your pop puff because mm. I know you like pop puff. That's right. Give me show yummy. Huh? Mm. Yummy. Very, very. But you Thank never you. ordered from them. That's very nice. I will. We, we, we don't have to always go to VI. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is the place in VI. so nice. I can't call your name. They didn't pay me for advert. Did they pay you for advert? Mm hmm? Pay for? Mm hmm. We blocked your name now. I know this time. Just the food. If they pay me, then I'll call your name. So, but guess what? This year. Hmm. This year, I know they no do. No money, no. Let me eat my pop up first. Oopsie. You go to the feed me now, Jesus please. Now. Feed me a bag, a bag. Ah, to this one. Hey! Cut! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, but cut. Come, cut, keep rolling. No, don't roll. <laughs> Use my chopsticks. Give me that one. Because your own broke. I don't know why you're still using it. No, we need to get yeah, it out. We need to get it yeah. out. Ayana, let's do this. Ah, so this will be so juicy now. That Jesus. Just Are you going to eat it because I can't? Just give me that one. Mm. 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 I hate so sauce. Sauce. It's too much. When it's too much, I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm not bad. Mm. So can we can um, we get served please? <laughs> to leave it, uh, just feed it, feed me. Cause I don't feel all the chops. If not, I'm just to bring more sushi. Hmm? Bring you need to bring more sushi. I don't want to take away as well. Do not stress me. No, you should. Do not want to stress you me. You are the one thing that. Oh, I don't don't don't. don't do you know, not did you not want to say, stress me? Did you not say me? If anyone comes to my studio, that's it for me through other day. Were well, you not there saying? Oh, don't worry. They not, don't forget about the sushi. Just do the small chops. I still went and. Okay, went. I'm sorry, but one more. So, but before um, then, you get the cow. No problem. Yeah, take there's, out. There's Thank more. you. There's I love more. food, guys. Tolu, but quick one, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have you had a scandal? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because uh, I mean, there was a time. It wasn't. It wasn't a scandal, basically. But um, when I think, but when I bought my house and I posted it, mm -hmm. I saw some 
people, some like two or three, well, three different people writing on different blogs who mm. I know who bought the house for her, I mm. know who did this. It was so shocking. But then I was really, really upset because I was, I'm like, why are you guys saying what is not true? Mm -hmm. But I had to learn how to deal with it because initially I was going to go on my page and write that whoever you are, that you're mm -hmm. writing all these things. But I learned from you, you know, mm -hmm. the, the time mm -hmm. you called mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. about a certain blog that picked a story that wasn't true as well. Yeah. And we, yeah. Mm -hmm. we had that conversation. You know, mm -hmm. but so you know, I was going to go and address it or whatever. And I thought about it. I said, if you go and address this thing now, mm -hmm. the few people that think you're probably a prostitute or whatever, do you think after you go live, you can change it? And the answer is no. So it means people's perception of you would be there regardless. You can't do anything. So it means you just have to live your life. So this 2022, and look, I tell you, anything where you hear about me, <laughs> believe That's me. That's true. I don't, don't even ask me. <laughs> just believe me because I do. I'm, mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I'm not upset with you because I don't even have the energy to start explaining myself to anyone. Because really, at the end of the day, nobody gives it an F. Nobody cares, yeah. <laughs> So guys, we're back to the game session and I'm excited. <laughs> so Lou, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Bring it on. Be honest. I'm ready. Don't play know. with me. Okay. okay. The game is, so I'm going to ask you three things. I'm going to ask you three things and if you've done any, you drink. Okay. Okay. Do I get to ask the three things too? Yes, you do. Good. Why do all my <laughs> guests always, they're always looking forward to asking me back. Okay. Um, so lose your innocent face, can you not fool me? Stop it. <laughs> Keep a straight face. Have you slapped an ex? That's mm -hmm. one. Have you given arms to the poor? Three. Have you ever peed on yourself? So do I get to drink if I've done any of this? Yes, you get to drink till you drink. Uh, uh, Cheers, Lily. Cheers, baby. Oh, okay. Go, B. <laughs> oh, okay, my own. It's so your turn. Be, be nice about it, that's all. Um, have you ever been drunk before? Have you ever gone back to an ex that you vowed that you would never go back there? Please, please, please. Let me just be drinking my <laughs> The third word, um, do you wish you're married to any of your ex? Or exes or whatever. <laughs> drink this man. Drink chest. Cheers. Mm. Sorry. Next question. Have you ever been in an orgy party? One. Have you ever slept in jail? Have you ever slapped an ex-boyfriend? Uh, slapped while we were dating or ha! when we uh, broke uh, up? When you, when you guys broke up? Or is when we were dating anyone? Mm, no. So you drink. Huh? <laughs> no, I haven't. So you're not okay. Uh, so you I've not slept anywhere. I've not slept in your yeah, You're not okay now. So you drink. Uh, no, that's not it. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to drink? Just drink, Lily. Okay, okay, no, no, okay, no, you're not meant to. She meant to drink. to drink. Oh my god. I don't think you're meant to drink. Let me just ask your mind so we can. I'm not meant to drink to me. Okay, so I'm throwing the questions back at you. Hmm? Have you ever slept in jail before? Okay, no. Have you ever slept in slept any of your ex before? Because <laughs> <laughs> knowing you, Lillian, you would have slapped, slapped your brain. <laughs> That's all. <Tolu, tolu, laughs> come on, there. I slapped the guy. Whoa, he's <laughs> mad. How dare you do that to me? <laughs> Mm. No, I know you would have done that before. Mm. Ah, it's well, it's your show. Tulu. Learn to drink. Oh, that was on his show, though. I know. That was on that show we're trying to do for some TV, this thing. So my ex came on the show. Oh, okay. So we had, like, a, I don't know how they got him on the show. So, like, a young, you know, mm -hmm. years ago. So I don't know how they got him on the show. So I ran into him at the restaurant, not knowing that the production got him in that restaurant i don't know how they did it i mean you you know how you write i don't know the show never made yeah never saw the light of day. i don't know what's going on so i don't know how you know you write certain things people maybe they can't call blah 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 and then we went somewhere he was not trying to explain why he did what he did why like, you guys were filming yes so, so you slapped in front of everyone front of, yeah. can you have another shot again please shot no, you need to i know keep person you dropped your manners at home and slapped the guy Tolu, this guy <laughs> If you know, Tolu, so just leave me. Your Yoruba, so you just drink and all that for your Yoruba people. Drink for your Yoruba community. So my rubbish. Yoruba demon community. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, please, it's 2022. Be very, very kind to this lady. She's been through a lot. 
so from good. you guys and why can't you guys just change why are you guys so used to being called demons even me i've had my own shell don't think i'm like <laughs> last year they gave me breakfast ah, producer fill this cup <laughs> fill the pot <laughs> Feel the fault. Okay. They gave me breakfast. Uh, Lillian, I still I can't, can't believe it. It's not a dream. I'm not a joking. premium girl. They gave My international me break. designer. The guy came like, the guy came like, you know when you have like, when the guy take all your boxes, that's what I was saying about, forget about this God fearing. Sorry guys, we need to talk about this before we end the show. And I need, ah. I need to feel this shot. Shot please, production. They Can gave, I'm not, you know when people talk about breakfast, break, I'm like, oh. I beg, leave breakfast. They gave me breakfast. They served me breakfast and I ate the old breakfast. They don't even give you lunch dinner oh! and breakfast. You know, see breakfast are the most the sweetest. Lily, and I started begging, baby, what does I do? Thunder fire. Thunder fire. 2022. <laughs> Me, I'm going breakfast. <laughs> I said, begging, what, what if I tell me? Just tell me. And guess what, what? Guess what you said to me? Oh, oh, were you dating this person? I'm like, what? I was given, not given, I was served breakfast. In fact, it was a buffet. They told me, just pick whichever. <laughs> <laughs> told me, wait, wait. Pick, so pick. We need to talk about no, it. No, I, I need to talk about it. Because the producer is giving me eye to cut. So look, behind I can't doors. even talk about it on camera. I will tell you behind closed door. It was bad. Guys, thank you so much for watching my show. I really, really appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. And don't forget, we'll be bringing you your favorite celebrities, on Lillian's couch every week. I love you all. Mwah! <laughs> Tolu, oh yeah. Go give me the gist. <laughs> you know, are we done?